Alright folks, welcome back. I would like you to meet Lilu in this video. And Miss Lilu lives in the bottom cage here. Every one of my ball pythons lives in a four foot by two foot cage. It's about a foot tall. Um, knowing what I know now, I probably would have bought either two footers or at least a foot and a half tall cages to provide for more climbing opportunities, but as it is, um, that's what I bought. And it works fairly well for them, especially for uh, for Lilu, because being a female, she's not very much into climbing, while um, the males like to climb a little more. But I've installed these little bridges. I don't know if you can see these little hanging bridges that I've made out of old bamboo curtains. And um, they use them to climb a little bit. So I'm in the process of changing her water today. Like I said in other videos, every other day they get clean water. And I change the water more often, if necessary. So here is kind of a hide that she likes to use. Um, she didn't really like the overturned salad bowls for her. She kind of likes more substantial hides, so she really likes those caves. I offered these caves to um, to Makiba and to Coil, and they didn't want them. They didn't want them at all. Every time I would encourage them to go inside, they would just climb right back out and go, nope. So they have what they like, and she's got what she likes. And I line them with paper towel. I used to use Repti Bark in there and other like cocoa husk and cocoa fiber stuff. But what ended up happening is she just tamps it all down with her body and it becomes just this, you know, very hard, compacted surface. She doesn't dig in it at all and then she pees on top of it and it just turns into a terrible mess. So instead, I use paper towels now, the effect is the same because she would be sitting on the hard surface of Repti Bark or she would be sitting on um, the paper towels. And I put like two or three layers in there so that it has a little bit of padding to it. I don't know if you can see that it's a little padded. Anyways, um, she likes peeing in her homes, as snakes do. So. Um, yeah, I end up changing the paper towels whenever she does that, and that works for us. Okay, put it back. I guess it's time for you to actually meet Miss Lilu. Let's find her. Yeah, I just gave her these fresh rolls so she hasn't crawled through them yet, but she likes doing it from time to time, and I make sure to start them here and here, start tearing them a little bit because she's a massive snake and this is not thick enough for her to actually crawl through. So when she does, she completely tears it and unravels it. But that's her thing, you know. Um, never lasts more than a week in her cage. I don't know, she likes them. So I keep giving her new ones whenever she demolishes the old ones. I keep the old ones in with her also from time to time, but this week she made a mess and the old tubes got soaked. So I threw them away and she now has new ones, but she hasn't destroyed yet. So I give her blue rolls and uh, paper towel rolls. And I do start them just to make sure she never gets stuck because it's much easier to tear once it's started than when it's completely sealed. And like everybody else, she has some fake plans for privacy. Um, I didn't say anything about rocks, but yeah, I have some rocks for them to um, use to start a shed or just crawl over. Um, I give a rock to every snake. <laughs> Each snake has a rock and this is hers. There are many like it, but this one is hers. Okay, let's find her. I think today she got to sit on the little carpet. Yeah, this hide is empty. And I want, come on, Miss Lilo. I would like you to meet my friends on the internet. 
Yeah, I don't often disturb them during the day, but filming at night would be hard. So I just wanted you to see them once and then I'll leave them be. There she is. Let me pick you up like that. And again, I try to pick them up by sliding my hand underneath instead of grabbing from above. Because in nature, if they were ever grabbed from above, that would be no good news for them. That would mean a predator is grabbing them. So instead I scoop them up and there she sits, very peaceful and happy on my arms. And um, she's an adorable little snake. Very calm, very friendly, not fearful at all. Um, she doesn't like to be booped or anything like that, but she's absolutely happy to spend hours sitting in her cave if she's working with me. I would, I have a little heat mat that is stuck to a piece of aluminum that I plug in and the heat mat itself is tiny and the piece of aluminum is large and aluminum has very good um, heat conductivity so the little heat mat instead of making just like one hot spot it spreads out nicely um, and I use that to heat her up so when she's working with me on the desk and by working I mean I work and she watches and when she does that we spend sometimes hours like that and she sticks her head out and watches me um, and then she's satisfied that nothing changed much and goes back to sleep and then comes back out girl I know my girl yeah I don't really like booping them but I like stroking the backs of their heads and they seem to at least not mind it as much so yes my girl you want to go home let me put you back on girl let's put you in your cave do you want to go in a cave oops come on girl there you go here's your cave and there she goes so sorry for very weird angles on the camera it's a shoulder mounted little um, phone mount I don't know how well it's working because I can barely see what it's actually capturing so if it comes out looking really weird please forgive me and I may look into different ways to record but this is what I got today I already tried a GoPro that I have from um, three or four years ago it's the old one and it didn't do very well for indoor recording and it did terrible things to my voice and ambient noise and it was completely unsalvageable so the first attempt was a throwaway anyways there you go you just met Lilu and you're gonna be meeting Slinky and Rocky soon so stay tuned for the next video